on our country's roads is equally important. Just this past week on Christmas Eve, four people were killed and at least 13 others injured in crashes on that day alone, mainly in KZN. Yesterday, five people were killed in a head-on collision in the Free State. Another five people died due to a collision on the N1 between Fentersburg and Grunstadt. And the list is endless. Even today, fresh new statistics. The Deputy Transport Minister, Cindy Chikunga, joins us now from our Durban studios to discuss the figures on the crashes and the death toll over the festive season thus far. DM, a very good morning to you. It's always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you for your time. Good morning, Ayan, and good morning, South Africans. How are we looking at the moment? What are the latest stats? The statistics that we have released by the minister on the 21st are from the 1st up to the 21st. And the minister will be releasing statistics today from the 1st of December up to the 28th. From the 1st up to the 21st, the minister announced that we had already 840 people that died on our roads from 677 crashes. Mm. And this is where we are. And the actual causes of that, the leading one is drunk and driving, speeding, and driving on road with the vehicles. And all these are responsible for many of these fatalities. And we are seeing small or private vehicles taking the lead of 48% in, in, in as far as cr crashes are concerned. And this is what we are seeing on our roads. We've had some discussions over whether or not the causes of these crashes are mainly behavioral or whether legislative intervention is needed to try and deter errant drivers. What is the problem? Why are we always talking about this this time of year? Where are we going wrong? We are indeed uh, trying to strengthen our law enforcement. This is what we are doing even now because we are evaluating our plan and programs on a continuous basis. But the whole issue is our attitudes as South Africans. The very fact that we think we can drink and drive. And this is responsible for many of the fatal crashes that we are seeing on the roads. Remember the statistics that we're releasing are talking to only people that die on the road, probably crashes as well. But there are so many others whose lives are changed just like that. Within a second, somebody is without limbs. Somebody is having head, serious head injuries. Somebody is fractured and so on and so forth. And this is too costly for the country. Like it is very true that we are actually costing the country up to about 306 billion rand per year mm -hmm. on road accidents only. And this is what any country cannot afford. South Africa can't afford such an amount of money being lost just because of, 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 of road accidents. Mm -hmm. And that is why our message, Ayanda, is to say you cannot drink and go to your car and hope to drive it. Because at that time, your judgment is so absolutely wrong. You just cannot change. You can't take decisions on what to do in an event where you have to avoid an accident. And that is the problem. But people believe that because they have cars that they can drive at whatever speed, they will therefore drive 800 and something kilometers, 200 and something kilometers. And this is responsible for many other fatal crashes, where if a crash happens, nobody survives, people die, and you find that it's families. But what is even worse, Ayanda, is that somebody who may have been driving very carefully will be killed by somebody who is a reckless driver. Who is, a drunken, uh, uh, who is a drunk driver. And these are the challenges that we are seeing on the roads. I witnessed one accident along uh, 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 the R23 road, and the driver had been driving so well, but somebody decided to come hit and killed two children in the car, mm. just like that. And this is what we are seeing on the roads almost every day. And our message to South Africans is that we can change our attitudes, we can, be, we can save lives on our roads, we can drive responsibly and don't drink and don't speed and drive cars that are road worthy. To remember, particularly in residential areas, that sometimes they are even stray animals. You have people that are crossing the roads, you have people that are driving, you have people that are cycling, and all those people have a right to use the road. And our message is that please let's be patient and please let's, let's of course respect mm. the rules of the road.
Mm. I think th there's a certain level of, of feeling like we're invincible sometimes as people. Like it won't happen to me. You know, whether it's fatigue or whether it's drinking and driving or, or, mm. or whether it is speeding, whatever it may be. We always get into the, the car and we think it won't happen to me. It happens to other people, but it won't happen to me. Let's juxtapose now the figures of last year, this time around, up to the 21st and this year. Are we getting any better as South Africans in how we're driving in terms of the fatalities and the crashes? Or are we getting worse? I know you can't give us an overall figure now, but can you tell us, just juxtapose last year and this year, are we getting better or worse? Last year, uh, from the 1st up to the 21st of December, we were at 811. This year, like I've said, we, are, we were at 840. And therefore, 29 bodies more than what we were, I mean, we, we had last year. And that is the issue. Even crashes, they are more. In many of the provinces, we are already above the figures that we were in, during the same period uh, last year. The only province I should think that is still below in terms of the figures is KZN. And we are hoping that they are going to maintain that because what usually happens later during festive season is that they then change because many people will be in KZN as holiday makers and, and, and because of that suddenly you find that there will be increase in, 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 in fatalities or road accidents. We're hoping that they're going to maintain this which we are appreciating very much. But we also are hoping that South Africans themselves, not just provinces, but South Africans themselves will want to change the scenario because it's something that as a country we cannot afford. It can actually be done. We can because there's still going to be uh, increased volumes, or traffic volumes on our roads. People will be driving back to their homes to work and so on. And we can actually change the scenario and be responsible drivers and be safe on our roads. It can be done. It's mm. about our own lives. It's not just about a traffic officer's life. It's not about the minister of transport's life, no even government's life for that matter. It's about my own life that I have to value and therefore anybody else's life. And our message to all of us is that we can do it, we can be safe, we can drive back to our work, to our homes safely so and arrive alive. It is very true, Ayanda, that people will always think that because it's me who is driving and it has not happened to me, it therefore will not happen. But when it happens, it happens. And many of the people that we're mm. talking about are sleeping in ICUs, in mm. hospitals, and, and they will never be the same again. And our message to all South Africans is that we can avoid this. It's, it's just, it can be avoided. It's mm. preventable and it's death that is unnecessary. Like I'm saying, I understand that the most people that are losing are people that are driving private cars, mm. the majority of whom are young male uh, 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 people. And, and many of these are, are economically active. Mm. They're working, they're employed, they're breadwinners. Some of them have just completed their degrees. They got employed and managed to buy cars and they die on the road. They're just perishing like that. And our message to all of them, to all of us as South Africans is that we can change this. Like other countries, like your Australia, that is talking about 300 fatalities per year. Like your Sweden, that is talking 280 fatalities per year. South Africa can therefore not afford to be talking about 840 in just 21 mm. days mm. when mm. other countries are worried about 300 fatalities in a, a year. year. A year. DM, thank you so much for that message. I do hope and pray that South Africans heed your call. I think it's very, very startling. But, but in fact, you have also said that it is possible that we can curb road fatalities. It means that all hands will be on deck Passengers, pedestrians, we are not exempt. If you're getting behind the wheel of a car, of course the responsibility is on you. But if you are sitting on the side of the driver or behind, or perhaps you're walking, don't jaywalk, don't drink and walk, and make sure that those who are behind the vehicle are, are, are safe and sober to do so. Deputy Minister uh, Cindy Chikunga had just joined us there from our studio. Thank you so much for joining us for that. 840 people dead already, just from the first of December until the 21st. The Minister uh, of Transport later will be giving us the statistics up until the 28th. No doubt they will increase. But in Australia, as the DM has just mentioned, 300 deaths a year. That's a year on the road. Sweden is somewhere in the region of 200 a year. 
We, just in the festive season, 840, just until the 21st. Come on, South Africa. I really think we need to do some introspection and see how we can improve. On that somber note, let me leave you there for a quick outbreak. We'll be back with more in just a moment.